Hey guys, uh, three D five here. Just before I get the video started, two things. One, I'm not responsible for any of the dumb stuff you do with uh, that I'm teaching you how to make a pneumatic rifle. You know, not something. It can it can easily pierce wood. Uh, just that uh, pumped up to 120 psi, and you can get it up to 450 with the uh, when I'm teaching you how to do all of the pain, pump it up. So anyway, just so don't shoot people, don't shoot animals, I don't care if they're your pet, you know, you know if you guys are not for shooting. Oh, I, I've heard some creepy stuff about you guys that, and, uh, yeah, so. I'll start. First, you need to know how to put PVC together. I'm, I'm also gonna, this is mainly a shooting video on how to make, uh, grenade rounds. I'm not gonna shoot them, but well, actually, I would put this a few more chippies on the ground. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to assemble it, I'm just going to show you what part and how to easily do that. One thing you need to learn to do is that don't assemble the rifle before you, uh, don't assemble the rifle before you put it together because let's say if I, you know, decide to stick this in here to see, oh, this may look cool. There's a good chance that I can get stuck in your blood. Ah, can't get it out. Ah, can't get it out. And you may be like, oh, big deal, because um, if it doesn't come out, you know, it, there's no way it'll come out when I'm firing it. That's not true at all. When I was pumping it up, first time it split right there, because it was too hard to pull apart, so I couldn't use the minute. Fortunately, I was able to use the minute. That happened again today, right there, so. Don't assemble the rifle. Um, you always need to find it, and you're gonna need PVC primer, PVC cement. I'm not gonna teach you how to do it. I did on other videos, uh, which may not be uploaded because I'm having trouble with them. High memory. This is using a ball valve. I would highly recommend you get one of these metal ones. I got this from Osh. I'm gonna shoot it like that. And what's nice about these is that the closest thing to a trigger you can get up without using a sprinkler valve. To make grenade rounds, I'm doing for the third time today. They explode on impact, not shotgun rounds. You can make those, they're easy. Essentially, you take paper. It's one of those things like, uh, you know how guys are like, oh, I make my own, you know, you know how when you Google how to make your own airsoft grenades? Kind of one of those dumb arts and crafts projects like that, let me be honest with you. It's exceptionally simple to do. Let me get my half inch. I'm not going to use three quarters, but it's in the wrong place. Literally, you act as an airsoft grenade launcher. And basically, you can make smaller versions of these. This is used as a rifle. You can basically just have it from here to here, that in your chamber your ball valve, and then the barrel. You're going to take it, you're going to roll it up like that, stick it in a half inch. They do explode, they use it out pretty far. I'm guessing a, a 10 to 15 foot range on these when they explode. Take it together so when you pull it out, it won't go back apart. And twist the first part. That literally can twist it up so it looks like, you know, like a firecracker thing. Well, I'm not going to throw it in there.
Yeah, I'm not supposed to even use these at the top, so. Pinch it together like that. This thing is just something. I said it earlier. Take this. Just like that. Like that. Let's stick it in the barrel. And this is the end of my. This is the beginning of my barrel. This is where it goes in. Right here. Like that. This is the end. This is. That element sound and it does work, although it does reduce range as well, just like the real sound, which is cool in the same way. That way, when the neighbors do the, you know, like they do it, instead of that, I'm gonna get so many comments on this video. Alright, pop it up to 100. And observe. You're gonna hear a whole bunch of babies shooting the house as I watch this. That's what it says. Oh, no, I'm making sure it is. Gosh, it does. That won't. I'll show you in another video, but. You saw it pierce right here, I'm guessing. It did pierce both sides. So if you're looking for power, you already got it. As for the grenade rounds, they do work. Since I was kind of rushing it today. I don't mean that I can do it way too long. So yeah. That concludes that. And uh, later I will show you how to make a... Uh, a rail gun. More of a coil gun uses the coil instead of four rails that they call a metal projectile. That's it right there. This is a camera circuit board. That's a capacitor. And then I have five capacitors in parallel with each other right there. So it's a total of six capacitors. 1010 microfarads, and I'm going to show you design in another video. So yeah. Uh, bye.